Hi and welcome back to another Measure Centre update and today we're going to be talking about a, uh, an update. This is from the 9th of November that this was updated. It's been around for a little bit longer than that. I'm a little bit behind in publishing these videos out so um, I thought that publishing two videos per day would allow me to catch up but actually they're coming through thick and fast so I might need to move to three videos a day or three Message Centre updates per day uh, just to catch up and see where we're at. So um, I hope these are useful and I hope um, you don't mind uh, them coming out uh, thick and fast. Uh, so today Today we're going to talk about an update uh, around um, the blocking URLs and files with the attendant um, allow slash uh, block list uh, or table, table uh, for short. Um, so this is around the fact that Microsoft's uh, providing more and more AI on um, the Exchange Online protection filtering rules. So sometimes you might get a false positive, so sometimes a good message might be marked as bad and sometimes a bad message might, might be marked as good. So what this is going to allow you to do is give you the ability to disagree with the verdict that was presented. And then at the tenant level, you'll be able to um, create these um, tenant-wide um, allow and block lists that disagree with it. So this will help um, Microsoft because it will give them feedback on what's been, uh, what they're getting wrong, um, and that will help train the AI a little bit. It also gives you more fine-grained control over what's going on. Uh, so these will be created within the uh, Security and Compliance Center, um, and that's where you're going to be able to set these up. Um, so, uh, sorry, I'll read this bit. Uh, so what do you need to do to prepare? So initially you will be able to block any URL or file based on a hash uh, for your tenant users. And the function to allow uh, will come at a later date. Uh, so Microsoft also plans to, ex to expand the tenant and allow block list to eventually handle URLs, files, senders and recipients. Um, and Microsoft will obviously update um, as through the message center as they extra features become available. I think this is going to be very useful for a lot of organizations, especially larger ones where there's a lot of email traffic. So um, I think this will give you a bit more fine-grained control. I think this is a good move. Um, I look forward to hearing how people are going to use this and whether this is uh, beneficial or not. So thank you very much for joining me and I shall see you next time.